The Swift FR Mark V is a level 10 British fighter. It can be very good but only if you know how to play it, which is what I'll cover in this video. First I'll talk about the performance. It's got a decent top speed but the lack of an air brake makes diving very risky, so that eliminates the boom and zoom playstyle. The turn speed is as good as British food, so that eliminates the turn fighting playstyle. That leaves the energy fighting playstyle, which is supported by the good energy retention, decent stall speed and decent thrust to weight ratio. Now let's talk about the guns. You get two British tea bag launchers. With no upgrades you get 320 rounds. When fully upgraded you get 400 rounds. Speaking of upgrades, what should you upgrade first? I recommend that you upgrade your pilot, otherwise you'll constantly be blacking out. Another thing you should upgrade are your wings. Having that extra turn rate is always a good thing. And finally, you should upgrade your engine for that extra performance when energy trapping. After that you can upgrade your guns for extra ammo, which will come in handy if you suck at aiming. If you care about earning more coins you can upgrade the talisman earlier. Then you have the two other upgrades no one cares about. So now you're probably thinking, but Kira, this information doesn't help me at all. How do I fly this thing? Well that's what I'm going to be talking about now. The first step is usually the hardest, and that is picking the right plane. Make sure you've selected the swift and not any other plane. Step 2 is picking the right ammo belt. You should obviously pick the air targets belt. Unless you're a psychopath and you shoot at ground targets in a fighter, then pick the armored targets belt. After you have spawned in, climb to 5000 meters and wait for someone to pitch up for you. Once you've found your victim, pitch up and use your speed to dodge the missile. By now the enemy is already stalling out and all you have to do is pitch down and send him to the lobby. Yes, I am the real one. As you can see I've got my guns on this F-100 and since he's slow he can't dodge my bullets. Here I've got a hunter on my 6, I'll turn into his guns but then I'll pull up so he stalls out. I'll use my energy and altitude advantage by going in a spiral. You can already notice he's slower than me and less maneuverable. He's already stalling out but I'll keep going vertical so I can get a bit more of separation. I'll cut my afterburner so I stall sooner. If you do everything the same you'll master energy fighting in the swift. Now it's Jover for the Hunter. Here are some things you shouldn't do in the Swift. Number 1. Turn fighting. It can be done but most planes have a better turn rate. So don't do it unless you know your enemy has a lower turn rate. Another thing you should avoid is energy fighting with mid-19s and F-104s. Last thing you shouldn't do is diving for longer periods of time. You don't have an air brake so if you start overspeeding there's a high chance you'll rip your wings. As some of you may know, the Mirage got a new missile, the R530E. Let's take a look at its stats. It has a max G pull of 15, which isn't the best, that's why it performs best at medium ranges. The range is pretty good but I don't suggest launching this missile from further than 6 kilometers. If you're lucky you can get lots of kills this way, as the enemy only sees the missile if it's closer than 2 kilometers. This missile also has limited all aspect capabilities, but firing it in head-ons is not recommended, unless you're facing a flare-less plane. Overall a pretty nice addition, but it's French so it's obviously not good. I played for 30 minutes and this is the only R530 kill I got. I lead the missile and after I launch it you can see how slow it is. That's why 99% of the time the enemy will flare this missile. Another thing to note is that you can only carry one R530, so maybe you should spend 80 upgrade points on another plane. 
Well that's going to be it for this video, I probably missed a lot of stuff so please comment what you think I could have added, before I actually finish this video I'd like to invite you to my discord server. There's currently 69 people in the server and I'm trying to get 100 by the end of the year. So if you want to chat with other viewers, participate in polls, suggest video ideas and much more, you can join the server, link is in the description. I'd also like to thank you for all the support on this channel. We're nearly at 1000 subs which is insane. There were many great suggestions for what I should do for this milestone like getting a couple kills with every plane. 1v1s with fans. If you have any other suggestions you can comment them here or you can make a post in the server. So with that I thank you for watching this video and I'll see you after the event in the alpha jet.